Namaskar everyone. So I'm Dr. Madison Romham and I'm a faculty at Pinisher Brahma Engineering College, the Department of Civil Engineering. So today I'll be talking about the potential of natural filtration technique for augmenting the community water supply system in Assam and I'll touch upon a little bit of a northeastern state. So let me inform you that this activity, which I will be talking about today, is supported by uh, the German Ministry of Research and Development, BMBF. And some of the activity was covered under the project supported by Assam Science Technology Environment Council. So before we start, uh, let me thank um, Madam Bula Chaudhariji for inviting me in this, uh, this session called What Experts Say. So I'm not an expert, but even though I would like to share what is my experiences in during my master and PhD in IIT and also the University of Applied and Resident Germany. So I'm really grateful with the organizers, organizer of this North East Sign uh, movement. This is really very good initiative where, you know, the young people like me and other could, you know, uh, express their views and also to motivate and move around with the people and a mass and also inform that you know what research and what development is going on and how can you know the research and development can be transformed into an entrepreneur journey so let's 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 move on these uh, the, the next uh, so I, I would be more or less interested in speaking about you know what are the challenges and what are the opportunities in some especially with the water contain you know if you see about here you can see that you know the government is trying very hard to keep the 24 into 7 water supply but on the other hand the picture is almost a reverse you know uh, we are not speaking about you know how we are giving a 24 into 7 water supply but on the other hand the women over there where you can see you know they are collecting the water from near the bank this villager they understand you know where can we get a good water or they would say you know a pure form of water but I, for for in kind information this is not a very pure form of water of course they are very much subjected to the the, the contamination you know, especially microbial contamination so this two picture is very much you know heart you know shaking but nevertheless you know and this this two women a picture was shown uh, would give us some of the insight about this uh, you know the bank filtration techniques. So now if you see about Assam, you can see that Assam has the you know a major problem and challenges You know during a monsoon the surface water you can always see around you know It's really very much turbid you know and and the flood flood is also one of the problem that is creating havoc in our you know system apart from that, you know, there is a high organic you know loading and also a sediment loading you know this river which we are having in Assam. You know they are really very much dynamic in nature. You know, of course, you know it is said that groundwater are very much purest form of you know drinking water. But the picture here you see that this is not any more pure water. You know, if you see you know from some of the data which was you know uh, studied by Bordeloi Etel 2013 and Bora et L 2016 is they talk about that you know how the groundwater and some especially in northern states that are geologically contaminated if you see here they talk about the arsenic and iron you know the arsenic concentration where they found was around 25 to 290 microgram per liter which is 10 microgram is are permissible you can just imagine you know and of course the uh, iron problem we all know about this you know so if you see here in the map you can see them are some red dot and blue dot you know and that's that's the arsenic concentration even though you know they are saying it is around 10 microgram per liter but i i i i don't say that this would be 10 microgram per liter because there is also a requirement to you know do the accuracy of that measurement so uh, nevertheless we will not talk about that but if you see around you know the red dot are where the location which has been highly contaminated with an i uh, you know the geological contaminated with arsenic so that's why you know this is a big challenge so so where a challenge there is an opportunity so moving to the next if i go around and you see this picture you know of course this is not a picture of some or not is that but very soon it will be the picture of our state also if you look around you know of course you see that this is the picture of not state only the women are you know uh, in a queue to collect the water you know why this needs to be there there when we have a number of rivers and number of water bodies you know but I again say, okay, you know, not to go with the surface water or river water or lake water. We'll come to know in the letters. 
so uh, listener here is all about you know the solution which i propose to the uh, various forum wherever you know i can or you know i evocate basically so let's say uh, i call it a bank filtration now what's a bank filtration if you see the schematic diagram over here you can see you know in a natural condition what happened the water moved toward the river it's a natural condition okay we can call it a natural infiltration also there will be a subsurface flow moving to the stream and then you know it moves to the uh, you can say you know lake water bodies or then in the ocean now what happened during this percolation or during this movement in a natural process you know the river is gaining the water now i am saying in this case is that let's reverse the condition now if you see the second picture here below you can see that there is a river system and also there is a well now groundwater is very much contaminated if you seen before now river water is very contaminated so what is the solution you are asking not to take a river water you are not asking not to take the groundwater but there is an intermediate always in between so basically we will came to know what would be in the preceding less time you know we will come to know that how this mechanism actually work and whether it is successful or not so we'll take some example also of course so during this reverse you know engineering we call it a reverse engineer reverse flow that call is induced infiltration that occur only when you are you know successively pumping the water from a near the bore which is close to the surface source and that process and that that reverse process you know that induced infiltration you are putting the water to go it from the surface source and that is called a bank filtration basically now we will know also you know what is a bank filtration so bank filtration is nothing but when there is a surface body it could be a river it could be a lake so when they are reversely you know reverse bed you know reverse engineering then what happen you know their groundwater also will flow through that so the mix between the groundwater and the surface water as you know the surface water doesn't have a very high mineralized so high mineralized and less mineralized high organic loading and less organic loading so these two mix together when they mix together you know and the water which you got is called as a bank filtration water and that water is you know better than the other two quality now why it is better to other quality is because there is mixing between two different source and because of the process you know the process which was you know filtration bioreduction chemical precision redox reaction you know is all this you know processes you know they make the character or a signature of water a different one which is the which of course would be better of the other but not always remember that this would be only a geological condition depend on a geological condition and now the question come where should we drill our land our well should be drilled at a certain distance that's why i put a red mark but you know it should be at a certain distance where you don't get much of the ground water or much of the surface water in this case is the river retain so it's a river okay now let's come to the history a little bit of you know how this bank filtration came into a picture you know if you remember you know our father or forefather you know long long back you know the civilization you know basically they are settle near the river water bodies especially i would say you know a rivers or a lake you know like you like you know sindhu where the 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 in the in the, in the, the, the hindustan name came you know the sindhu river basically you know mahanjo daro river bed those base they are settled within the you know uh, river basin now you can say you know kolkata mumbai they are based near to the you know water bodies irrespective to what kind of water it is but there is a logic behind you know settling so if you see here you can see the few picture of the our old well kind of you know uh, water abstraction devices i call it you know a simple devices they drill a hole they collect the water from the aquifer or you know basically you can say you know it's a kind of a ground water but from where this ground water has come you know we'll come to know about this history, history. but there is where the origin of the bank filtration came into a picture now if you see about a little bit you know away from our country you know uh, it's, it's a germany of course you know uh, many of you will know it is you know the water work as all pain in 1875 you know they had a problem with you know uh, the river you know the river has got very highly organic contaminated 
because of the industry revolution, you know, and then, you know, they said what to do it, you know, then they have done it, the process called a bank revolution, a river bank revolution. They have a well, they are the river, you come to know about it later on, but how this is, and just imagine about the capacity, it is 12,000 meter cube per day, at the retention time, or the hydraulic retention time of day water is seven days. You can just imagine, no structure, only a bank, which is naturally available. So now if I, I move on the next, you know, the example could continue, you know, some of the example from the top weight water walks, you know, this dot, 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 where you have seen it, you know, not actually a dot, a pillar, 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 water line. They are nothing but an, a well there, there's an observatory point. So you can see the, you know, the, the water walks on the backdrop and, you know, there, this side, there is a river. And just to see the capacity, you know, 35,000 meter cube per day. And the hydraulic retention or a trial time of only 15 days. You get a good amount of quality of water. Now, this is one of the uh, water walks, you know, I visited in this place. You know, it started in 1908. You know, this the water walk is host of it. They require in the city of uh, Saxony and under they require a lot of water. Then what they have to do is that they have made a trench they collected the water from the river see the river water is got a little bit colored you know so they created a basin you can, they can basically call it aquifer rich managing recharge you know so they create a basin they put the water and the water walk is very close to there so they have a well in between so what happened this water which was collected from the river put to the basin they go to the to the ground and they act as an source for a groundwater or source for a banking rate. So when you need a huge amount of water, then this can be another one of the options. You know, these are certain, you know, uh, history of how the bank will resident has been developed. And just imagine the capacity. It's 62,000 meter cube per day. A retention time of, or the travel time of less than 50 days. So these are the, you know, power or this, you can say, these are the advantages, you know, where you can get a continuous water supply from a bank filtration system. Now this uh, continuing to the more, you know, there is some more example, there is a lake, you can, as I told you, know, you can take a water from a lake also, you know, and then there is a well series and this is how, you know, the, the, the water are abstracted in, in a broad also. Now, now we, we, we are now, we wanted to understand, you know, what is this bank filtration or what is the river bank filtration? When it is the river, it's a river bank filtration when it is a leg, it's a leg bank filtration. Similarly, wherever the water source, the bank adjacent to that would be the, you know, the mechanism or entire, you know, setup. Now, if you look at here in this picture, you can see, you know, there is a water source and the removal is because of the particle deposition or there or the clogging layer. We call it collimation layer. The clogging layer, nothing but an organic which has been created in the mat along the bed. Now, you know, during the passage, you know, because of the rainwater, there would be certain oxygen would be, you know, contributed and the mechanism with, I told, you know, the anoxic and anoxic groundwater, you know, mix together with the oxic, you know, uh, the river water and it gives an, you know, a change in the signature or pure form of water, you know. Now, uh, I would like to inform you about some of the example which I have cited there, you know, in Europe, there are certain cities which, you know, Düsseldorf, Berlin, Dresden, Amsterdam, you know, I keep on the list, keep on going, you know, in United States also, it's keep on going, you know, uh, like, you know, uh, Sona, uh, Sonoma country, Lincoln, you know, Kedar Rapids, you know, these are the places where, you know, and Louis, uh, Louis really is, they have a very big well, you know, very big well to collect, you know, horizontal well, we call it, you know, very big horizontal well. And collecting water, you know, and India, of course, you know, I was doing my work in this Haritwar, Rishikesh, Nenital, Mathura, Ahmedabad, you know, Karakur, I did in the Shrinagar. These are the places where I, you know, did my, my studies with my team, you know, and also I was a consultant for Uttarakhand Jal system during my study. So these are, you know, how oh, this system are also being transferred to India and it is being, you know, doing it. Now, you know, in, in, in Assam, when I'm back here, in, you know, I studied, I did a small work with, you know, uh, Assam Science Technological Environment Council, you know, uh, this, which in Kokraj, I'll be talking about that also. And the proposed now, you know, BMBF, the Ministry of, you know, uh, Science and Technology from Germany, you know, they have, uh, you know, sanctioned approved the project and that we have proposed a site in Guwahati and in maybe in a coming some years, you know, maybe one and two years, you know, it's, inform people you know tell people that 
uh, the infiltration can also be a possible in Assam, especially in Odisha state. I'm doing uh, work on that. Uh, let's see. Uh, but nevertheless, you know, I'm here to inform you about how this bank filtration could be, you know, a very good tool in providing you water. And I would like to urge, you know, all the listener, scientists, students, everybody, you know, and the faculty who would be interested to do an investigation, you know, uh, most welcome to interact and most welcome to understand, you know. So some of the site in Europe, you know, and this has been integrated uh, water resource management, you know. So if you can see here, this, are the, this is the point, you know, where I was talking about, you know, see, 35,000 meters to per day, retention time less than 15, you know, this small, 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 small dot, black dot, which was connected, they are nothing but a well, small, small vertical well, siphonly connected. There is no pump, only the pump is in a big well at one pump. So just imagine, you know, they are engineering the hydraulic condition and they're collecting the water. And you can see, you know, from there, there are more than 50% are bank filtered water without any, you know, sophisticated treatment, no membrane. Right. So, yeah. So now, you know, uh, let me inform you more example. So, it's, uh, you know, there are, uh, you know, number of well in the talk of it, you know, uh, the, the, you can see here, you know, dot, 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 there are well and there is a river, you know, uh, the Elbe River where they're collecting a water, you know, where, where water depth and what is extraction capacity per well, you know, and there are 42 number of well, of course, you know. So, this all are some of the example and this is one of the where, you know, the monitoring our team were there. We were, you know, monitoring this part from that part of the study in a university, you know, there's a river, you know, we have so many river here, you know, in Northeastern states, especially in Assam and all, every time we're talking about flood, 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 but no water to drink, you know. So th that's that's why, you know, I, I'm really much, you know, uh, super excited to inform you that, you know, we can do this. So, you know, uh, some of the example from a different part, you know, just to inform you, you know, what is the capacity or how much water has been extracting, you know, on 6,000 meter to per day water has been extract, extracted from so, Solvenia, you know, and this is river Darwin, you know, you can see the river and somewhere here is the bank filtration site, you know, and then similarly you can see here in uh, Jordan also, you know, they, 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 the water is very much, how do you call it, organically contaminated, so they want to use for agriculture, you know, you can see here, you know, the structure you can see here, the, this is how, you know, they are abstracting the water and they are doing it for their you know, day-to-day -day activity and day-to-day -day uses, you know, and this is, of course, one of the examples from Egypt, you know, from the University of Applies and Resident, you know, some of the researchers went and they study, you know, to this, how to, how to minimize the cost of a desalination, you know, because, you know, a salt water, you know, a, a membrane, you know, the following effect and so many things, I'm not an expert on that, but somebody will talk on that, so there is an effect, you know, problem, basically, you know, because of the salt water, you know, so that's why to, in order to see, whether that concentration could be bring down and uh, minimize so that the cost of you know treatment could be could be come down you know this is, this is how the application a robust application you know now yeah this is the overview picture how it is you know this is the Gulf of Cuba and then this is the well how you know it has been you know, investigated and you see you know uh, how the discharge and within that area you know uh, or within that distance you know and more than 50 percent, I would say, you know, less than 50 percent of chemical, you know, it's uh, in the intake is uh, not required, you know. So now, what happened? Uh, we, have, we are we are in India, so let's come back to India, you know. In India, also, nevertheless, you know, we are also doing it, but in in, in a different pace, in a different arena, you know. In Savarmati is a very old, more than 50 years, you know. The Savarmati River, they have a river bed filtration. In the Savarmati River in Ahmedabad, there is an horizontal of five meter dia. Have a casing, they collect the water and they are doing it. But of course, the documentation has a little bit of problem, you know. And similarly, you know, in IIT Kharagpur, also have a pilot project, you know, uh, in in the Kansavati, you know, river uh, where the water supply to Kharagpur, IIT Kharagpur has been extracted from there. You can see there, you know, the, uh, the, the vertical well is there. And similarly, you know, and there is another well, you know, a bigger well, you know, original well, uh, I would say casing well is also in, in there. And Srinagar, which I was, uh, I have been working in this side, you know, you can see there is a structure and uh, a, a kind of a rectangular structure. So there are well, there are, you know, there are 18 numbers of well are there, with 18 with 999 well. So there are a series of well that are behind them now. So from there you cannot see, but there is a well, you know. 
so and some more for some more for example from you know that casing well in jharkhand and this is my favorite place you know the haridwar where i spend a lot of time in you know investigating that well that building you see this is not a building actually that is the well so the well has been you know decorated and covered you know in fact there is a five meter radial uh, you can call call it a vertical uh, infiltration gallery you can call it you know so the water from ganga upper ganga canal and lower ganga canal are you know uh, you know uh, you know uh, induced to this and then it has been pumped and then supplied to the community in haridwar you know so really it's a wonder, wonderful you know and so that we can move move on the next example what i'll be talking is i'll be talking in the preceding also that you know pathargarh in kokra where i have been you know investigating with my german colleague you know he was here to study you know uh, how is the effect of this bank filtration in especially you know in, in, in the condition of assam you know so if you see here you know some of the highlights i wanted to inform you you know that in shirinagar current pra gaucher kopti bageshwar uttarkashi this is the places you know where you know this bank filtration has been implemented in india you know you can see the the the, the change in the you know application after the application of the bank filtration now in assam also i am putting it there so so far in my depth project site we found around 2448 meter cube per day of water from a sea so just imagine you know without any chemical without any big big infrastructure you can get the water and why not you know uh, other part of assam or nordis state can also be you know explored in this concept you know and this technology and you know is not a rocket science here so now if we see about the entire picture of the india you know some dot are there you know some dot they represent that you know where the well are already constructed in gohati or assam uh, the dot has to become coming up very soon and it so to come up you know if you see you know the the, the gray color here in, in in the map in the india map so that mean we have an alluvial aquifer we already have this the other picture is of course from ganga where i was talking about you know the pan the island where the i it in the infiltration well were there you know so this is the canal and this is the river you know the, the, the well or the cation was between the ganga canal upper ganga canal and the river so now here delhi during my master in idd you know i was working on this area palna region okay which was supported by european union so this dot dot small 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 dot which you can see there they are nothing but a well and 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 you know the cross mark cross mark is the bigger well five then it radial well you know a bigger well so there are almost like you know you can say 200 number of well are there in palna region so there was some kind of you know water uh conflicts between uh, haryana and delhi and there, there was court case also you know that this much water you cannot take but you know uh, interestingly you know the delhi government said we didn't take a yamuna river you know uh, water uh, water from yamuna we take our ground water in fact let me tell you you know uh, this is like you know a kind of mix of as uh, yamuna river and of course the ground water but you know just the beauty of that you know they, you do not need any big big treatment plan so this is about the bank filtration and of course one of the example here uh, let's move on next and nenital like you know one of the tourist place you know uh, uttarakhand jal sanstan have a challenges in providing a drinking water now there is hill about 200 meter you know msl so just you can imagine you know 2000 sorry 2000 uh, meter sll you know it into around this one so what happened there there is a you know there is no such a you know thick aquifer for there how do we get a water and stream are drying up So what happened in Nenital? Nenital lake is getting polluted by now. It's not like you know early time. You know it's a very clean water. Now it's not like because of the tourist influx and all the city, you know, kachra and everything are damping into this uh, lake. So what happened? You know, the Uttarakhand Jal Sultan decided that they will go with the uh, bank filtration system. So it's a lake. So it's a lake bank, lake, lake bank filtration. We did a number of well. There are almost like eleven well, well are there, and they collected and they are getting no water. so now if i'm informing you more you know closer to that you know there were the side are there you know some of the you know side in shrinagar sat puli agast mini which i was speaking to you okay how do this it's you know i was talking about so much you know so many example places there now what is the advantage and what is the disadvantage in this now equivalent of temperature of course that's there because it is inside you know it's ocean you know you don't have to worry about it and it remove the particle from the surface no cost and i think you don't have to pay anything 
and during the process you know the compound biological compound or petrogen they are removed it has been found even heavy material also removed you know virus and virus and bacterial of course remove and virus you can see every particle you know from uh, nizamuddin area from yamuna you know it has able to remove the coliphages you know the rotavirus corona virus you know that can be removed or disadvantage is there's initial cost will be a little bit high you know the construction cost but not compared to our conventional one and of course is a little bit you know slow and sometimes it could be you know blocking can be one of the problem you know if the ground water is mineralized then you can say sometimes this is not very much uh, you know good so I, i'm moving to the next and how do we construct it you know we're talking a lot now how to construct it basically we need to you know inform the authority you know administrator you know make a meeting and discussion you know and then you interact with the people you know who are actually working in the field and then you start to collect the uh, data from the source you know maybe from the river from the spawn you know and, and do some kind of laboratorical investigation you know after that you know um, more detailed investigation is required you know what would be the equipment type you know you need to collect you need to work you know some of my student and my team are working on that you can see here you know so like collecting the equipment material sediment you know and sieving and then you know the chart measuring so these are the certain thing you know the first step what we need to know is that you know to install a well so you need to have a a team basically or you can create a team second is that your your team can go and measure the water level otherwise you know you you may end up in doing in something else the second is that that should be a geo reference of course that is that you can do it any time you know because people can suggest from outside somewhere also and then do the investigation hydrogeological investigation what are the hydraulic conductivity what are the parameter and those and collect the aquifer material as i have shown so there and of course the quality part very important okay this is the entire picture of the step by step wise okay so these are the certain activity that we need to you know understand before you know constructing a well you know so now because this you know talk should also give some uh, should also lead you know some information toward the opportunity of businesses also you know opportunity of enterprises you know what are the opportunity a number one opportunity which i told is that you need to have a consult you can create a consultant group you know you can create a group and you can also actually build such kind of well you know it's not, not like you know any kind of well there is some certain a calculation certain mathematical modular applied certain you know assumption are made and sometimes certain you know you know how we could a balancing are required to do because of hydrogeological condition so apart from that there is some more opportunity about that one of the opportunity which i would like to highlight you is an otterkon this company is and uh, the, the the you know uh, german base you know this is like you know they were we call it startup uh, you know uh, incubation you know in the university and all you know so what happened here the the guy uh, or and the guy author ganesh is name only so from here we can convert uh, you know a company was formed you know with the friends of them so author was his name okay so this gentleman what during his studies he has find out that you know how to uh, get a, a disinfectant system without adding any chlorine because chlorine is sometime you know a dosing you know a skill is required so that's why you know he said that you know uh, or he investigated you know from a salt can be converted to chlorine and get disinfected now his idea has been you know converted to entrepreneur now today is an owner of this company called otterkan so mr mr otter has you know developed this technology and it's a patent in india of course you know it's a patent in germany also and also in india in india also it's patented so anybody who want to work you know and need to be you know integrate with him discuss with him so it can always be open to discuss with him you know and now this concept is been transferred for arsenic iron magnesium removal also and this is like you know a business generation opportunity also you know like you know like any kind of you know scheme you know like a atm water atm and all you know this can this will give you you know more of the you know uh, uh, you know business opportunity not only working and creating with order can but also you know creating your own system you know it, it's 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 a you know multi disciplinary or multi expertise area you know so that's why i would i thought to inform you also that how this bank filtration could be also be integrated because from the ground to terrorism mineral of course 
If not, then you can put some salt over there. You can see here a picture, you know. That's a very, you know, a, how you call it, a very conventional and but a scientific one, of course. Now, these are some of the pictures with this gentleman. Okay, this is the gentleman, you know, and how it's working and it's doing in very pretty good in India. And Hathor, of course, they have installed it. So now moving to the next about the how this mechanism okay so you this is the Haridwar IW18 infiltration well 18 so the water has been connected okay from there if you know uh, how do you call it the salt concentration is not much then you know there is a sodium chloride salt has been this simple salt which we add at home you know that salt has been added and accordingly you know the ion has been produced from there and it disinfects. Is it not something like you know not some rocket science but very case welding no chlorine has to be added according to the you know concentration if there is something you know that would be added if not then it is there from the water reserve and it has been powered by the solar so this is one of the you know best part of this you know now if you see you now I'm, I'm talking about so many things but you know how do i ensure there is no bacteria you know this what the investigation has been done you know this is the coliform you know coliform with bacteria you know e coli especially from the human intestine you know so the, uh, in the source water this is the source water and this is the bank to red water if you see here you know they uh, found certain like you know one to ten of course sometimes you know 10, 100 you know drinking water it should be zero so but in the treated water there is no one at all so that's why how this advantage now i'll be talking a little bit of opportunity of this bank duration in assam okay so i saw i was speaking you know in kokrajhar you know how i started you know these dot are the place where i collected the water you know and these are the location you know uh, where is this location what is the river size and what is the water capacity demand you know is there any problem with you know certain information are given like you know uh, name of the river and discharge and all you know so i i i, I my study area is basically in this dad and kokrajhar you know i did this uh, with my student you know and this is the profiling of that area where uh, you know uh, decided there and this is the uh, you know river Gorang. now i have been divided into a part you know uh, the northern part and southern part you know you can see the alluvial like kind of aquifer that you know what kind of aquifer it is you know then you know this team has you know collected and did the study with of course i i said from you know a, a german colleague of mine was there so we gone to the river bed and we investigated we take collect you know using that small device you can see it you know and of course a student from cit uh, they were also a part of in the project they worked together we did some kind of you know infiltration test also and there we found out you know the hydraulic conductivity where basically the water allowed to flow okay and you can see the reason so it's around you know 10 to minus 3 to 10 to minus that means it's a good permeability it's a good permeability it's almost like other size you know so it's inform us that you know this sum especially in this part is also a very good in 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 getting the water from the river through bank filtration now you know i have one another one more small work some time ago i worked with the you know a partner from germany uh, you know and it's in bhutan you know it's a, it's in this in river you know amuchi uh, uh, river you know so in that river the the bhutan government wanted to have a sustainable water supply system you know and then accordingly we investigate you know this is the place of the information okay and then this is the place now you know they have a town to be a functioning town to be built in the other side of the mountain and this side in the upstream we propose that okay you can have a bank filtration but based on the investigation and based on the studies so this is the aquifer summary you know how what should be the well and what would be the drawer and this is a certain expectation you know from the from the field so this is the river profiling what we have done you know and we have seen it that you know there are some aquifer borelock profile you know what would be the profile and all accordingly there are a number of borelock so we did the profiling and all these are all you know potential smm msme you know scope to you know to, to, to do a business you know to enterprises also apart from the investigating a scientific part now this is a borelock profile you know uh, so i will not go into detail of this borelock profile of course you know it and then you know this is like you know basically the, the picture come here you know the hydraulic conductivity is around the minus three so it's pretty good you know i would say very high, very effective you know high porosity you can say and you know there is no uh, will not be expecting you know a coliform but the river has got a certain coliform you know the well is zero you can see so 
so uh, this is the you know advantage of this bank to this bank you know, and certain uh, more calculation and more observation you know basically how much thickness is available there this is a certain finding you know we can keep on doing in our, our own places you know wherever you all are there you know so let's say some certain finding or certain information that is required is that you know sometimes you know find a big boulder could you know reduce the hydraulic conductivity the effective hydraulic conductivity but nevertheless you know if you uh, if your aquifer thickness is more than five meter then i think it's good in some uh, some of the places which i did in the, the research it say that it's more than 17 meters so it's a very pretty good you know aquifer thickness but you know the small like you know a kugel or small community you know uh, that could be depend on the you know where it is located you know in the stream you know but most of the place uh, you can see the picture you know it will be possible you know as far as my understanding is says you know and the hydraulic conductivity ranges i saw i said you know it's in between this to this in in, in, in the belt of this brahmaputra river so i think we can we can go ahead with that but we need to investigate of course we need to study of course you know and i would like to urge you to do a team and then you know study a little bit of that so that you are very sure that okay this part is possible this part is not possible this is generally you know where the system or river system are there you know how the interaction happen okay of course this is not required to be elaborated you know it so uh, basically nothing it's very simple there should be a source water and there should be a well where you will draw the water and during the passage it is going to infiltrate or it will going to oh, sorry infiltrate it's going to remove it's going to remove it so this is basically just a depiction of a system how it works now this is a certain example which you know we have already informed you there also but just to tell you, you know what are the depth of you know 1.5 meter to 300 meter if you can see the ranges you know so there are some places Haridwar, Patna, Srinagar, Nainital, and so so many on so many on, you know. So it, and, it, and on the other end, you just see the productivity, you know, the productivity in the production of that well of water, you know, in meter cube per day. The the, the highs I, I can say is you know one lakh ten thousand meter cube per day. What do you think? Is it not a big enough water, you know, from a single well, but so now if i see in assam you know a north eastern state you know so there are so many you know blue dot that are connecting you know blue line they are connecting they're nothing but our rivers our water bodies you know why not we we integrate them and then we build them you know a network for giving a water you know why we struggle to get the good quality of water you know so that's why you know i just wanted to put this also and just to inform you you know see this is a wonderful river you know you can collect it there give it back similarly you know subansari you know upper subansari has got a certain problem but lower if you talk about the flood you know why don't they talk about giving the drinking water you know right so moving to the next they get digaro river see there's a wonderful bank there moving to the next you know barak valley barak valley has got you know such a wonderful mandarin you know because this mandarin will help to collect the water from both sides you know from upside and from the central side and from downside so in a mandarin point you can have a well you know a very good conducive area or conducive portion for a bank filtration now similarly for danger river also we have it you know this study where is that where Bhutan, you know or much river you know this study where see from there they are doing it you know why not and of course in our manipur you know manipur has got a wonderful lake you know should get in now water you know they, they said that they don't have water water stress states states why and of course you know our assam you know from Putra river you know you can see this river stretches there the next to next is the city of you know town are there you know but you don't have water they whatever they have water is ironic iron contaminated you know geological contaminated by iron you know so i think that's that's need to be a time has come to investigate you know so uh, certain information which i collected are from this literature so probably you they can re read up you know and then i would like to acknowledge you know uh for the well the support in this project uh, to work with you know the bmbf okay and also of course the assam uh, science technology environment council for supporting and all this uh, partner you know who was in this journey you know to make this 
uh, program of my, you know, uh, to, 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 to a conclusive one, you know, thank you for supporting all, thank you for listening, you know, I really acknowledge them for their support and all. And of course, I would like to thank, you know, my colleague uh, from Trace then, you know, University of Applies and Resident, Dr. Ronilas Sandhu, you know, who was helping me out in, you know, getting this information. And of course, you know, uh, I would like to thank my supervisor, you know, uh, Professor Pradeep Kumar, Professor Indu Malhotra, Professor and of course, Professor Thomas Grishik and in IIDD, you know, Professor Ike Mittal, you know, they helped me a lot in shaping me and, you know, giving me this uh, piece of, you know, information and knowledge so that I could transfer to you. And lastly, really, I'm grateful that, you know, for giving me the opportunity. And, and I'm very sorry, you know, uh, this was a very, you know, fast visit and very quick. So, uh, Dr. Bula Chaudhary, thank you so much for the opportunity and thank you so much to all the listeners and uh, viewers for this. Hope you know in future it can give you more on that, but today is on. Thank you so much. Good day. Bye bye.